but mm -hmm. still revolving around the family setting though yeah so we're talking about siblings now okay. siblings entitlement Ooh. and uh, this uh, person that's a if a worry said it if has a worry ruined boy yes. yeah if a worry boy mm -hmm. said yeah it has ruined so many marriages mm -hmm. in africa so now looking at this um, entitlement thing some brothers feel like their brother's money is for yeah. them before the wife's self. Now I can remember a story of one man who died. Mm -hmm. As soon as he died, the she brother is. came in. Yeah, told the wife, you can go now. After all, he didn't give birth to, to fear, uh, a male. male. Yeah, his properties are mine and all that. So this entitlement, shit. Because for me, it's very shitty. So I mean, how does it settle? Like, how, how does it go down with you, ladies? Ada, what's your take on it? I actually don't support that, yeah. I think everyone should be able to hustle their way through to the top. The sky is big enough, yeah. I understand that if you're rich, if you're wealthy, there are people that will want to get help from you. Mm -hmm. Your family members and friends and people around. But when it comes to your siblings feeling like maybe they were at some point of your life they helped you attain to that level mm -hmm. or help you through school i think all you owe them is some sort of appreciation mm -hmm. but from them no one should be entitled to one's wealth because wow. at the end of the day your money is your money True. you choose to do whatever you want to do with it okay so maggie is taking care of your sibling a responsibility or a choice it's like for everybody now it's beginning with maggie taking care of your sibling a mm. responsibility or choice uh, i don't know it depends on how you see it yeah personally taking care of my siblings i feel um they don't have to feel obligated to it but i think i'm responsible for them to an extent mm. like my younger brothers in school sometimes i call to check in on them how they're doing if i have money i send to them and they're good it's it's something that i actually find pleasure in doing mm. And when I don't have money, they understand that I don't have money. Actually, my younger brother said, I've sent me money. When he was like, ah, nice. since nice. you are broke, I said, I know see what he was like, hi. Hey. I began with 5K. I said, send that. I would, at this point, I would take. Right. You know, so it depends on how you see it. But we're looking at it from a larger picture, just like you said. I think some people have gotten to a point where they feel wrongly entitled mm -hmm. to their siblings wealth and this also happens most mainly in marriages when the man dies and they want to kick the woman exactly. away i think that's just a, a perfect definition of how lazy can an adult get mm -hmm. because the person that is late is an adult like you and you all had the same time to also two, 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 like, two hands two legs one hand. Hand. Yeah. if you die who is going to come and what For are sure. they going to yeah. drag yeah. from your matter no you so in that <laughs> case i think it's just a no no so what is it's it a no choice no. or responsibility it's a choice basically it's okay. a choice and the generous okay, so i'm the first one of my family mm -hmm. so it's a responsibility I, I don't think it's a responsibility that, oh, it was... I just think it's personal, right? Mm. I feel really fulfilling when I see that I can actually ease up stress from my parents yeah. and then be there for my siblings. She get. So if I say it's a choice, then I'm not exactly going to be truthful. Because if it's a choice, I could just wake up and say, oh, you can go and go and do. But I just feel like it's a responsibility that I put upon myself. Absolutely. I want to check up on you. I want to be there for you people. I want to you know, give fun to me too that I can. So yeah, I feel like so the, the the when it becomes a problem is when you now feel like you're entitled, you're entitled to, to my money. Yes. 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 There should be a limit where you know that when I say no, I don't have, don't even bother to you know question me. I don't have because I don't have. You get so yeah, it's a responsibility for me. Okay, Gabby. Yeah, well, so for me, um, I think it depends on the situation, the unique circumstances surrounding everything. Like you know, in the case of, uh, are you asking me personally or just? Yeah, I'm yeah. asking. Do you think because that I feel like it, it depends on the situation. Like for instance, let's take a situation, you know, an unfortunate situation, someone losing their parents, for example. Mm. The mm. older one assumes the responsibility, responsibility of taking care, yeah. you know, of taking. So it's not a case of a choice, mm. you know. So I think it's a mix of both, actually. Mm. So for me, it's a combination. Some other times I feel responsible to. Some other times I feel it's my choice, choice you know, yeah. to make, you know. But at the end of the day, just like Alexis said, the line should be drawn when. You know, someone starts saying I'm entitled, entitled to something that belongs to you yes. just because you took 
I took responsibility for you at some mm-hmm, point, mm-hmm. or you took responsibility for me at some point. Mm-hmm. So I think there should be that line drawn. And mm-hmm. um, where there's a spouse and two become one, then you can now say, what I have is yours, what you have is mine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But okay. that doesn't apply in a you see relationship. Me. You know, it has to be clearly stated that the person affected. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. What, what do we not call a situation where when a spouse die, the spouse relative will not come and tell the wife like, oh, you are not one, or he's dead, or you'll be going, his properties belong to us. That's, that's greed and no, stupidness. They're not, they're it not, they're not one anymore, but that's half. I don't know how to explain it. The two of them were one. What belongs to that other person is still the other person's own. Exactly. So the brother has and They can't come and just... It's a thing, it's a traditional thing that we see you know, in this part of the world. Yeah. But if you follow how law actually works, whatever is you know belongs to that other spouse mm. room that is still alive you know is whatever belongs to the, the person that is called. the living spouse yes yeah. belongs, belongs to her it's spouse, called not not a relative but except where there is a will that is left mm. and you know the person who is deceased has already said you know still mm. clear to my brother give it will it i will it to my you know. yeah all right it's okay. Well, at this juncture, we'll go for a break. Do not move a muscle because my two cents show will be right back.